As you can see, I'm now looking at a court. There's the jury, there's the defense. Well, it's an incredibly intimidating thing to go to court. They're put in a witness box, they're asked questions in a very strange environment. So the Scottish Government and the International Criminal Court in The Hague, what they wanted to do was to create an entire experience. So right from the front door of the court, you know what to expect. So what we did was we built an application, almost like creating an interactive movie. Um, but it's a movie where you make decisions. You'll be invited to take a seat in the waiting area. You're then standing in the witness box. You can see all of the different characters in the court. Um, and you can point at them and say, basically, what does that person do? And they will explain what their role is. If I now want to just basically look at the defence agent and, and wonder what he does, I can click this. I will speak to you after the advocate deputy. I am the solicitor acting on the behalf of the accused. It's really important that victims get as much information and support in the run-up to the trial. What we currently have is um, 360 degree interactive courtrooms so people can go in and see around any court in Northern Ireland. The virtual reality piece is the, the next step on that journey. Actually having someone you're able to speak to and can explain what their role is. So anything we can do to help improve that, give them that information without requiring them to attend in the day is a bonus. Six years ago now, my wife's parents uh, were killed by a mental health patient. I arrived on scene. He, he was escaping in the, in the family car, uh, nearly ran me down, and uh, was then subsequently apprehended by the police half a mile away, standing in a field. The trauma starts with the incident, and then dealing with the system, the trauma keeps rolling. The perpetrator pleaded guilty to manslaughter by diminished responsibility. The court case, and that was the first time really I'd, I'd, been, I'd been to court. Um, it was a bit overwhelming. And, you know, everybody knew what they were doing except for us. And certainly from what I hear about this uh, technology where you can actually interact with it and you get people explaining who they are and things, it's about ensuring the victim's ability to act as a witness at the trial.